It's Big Wednesday, the 13th. Wave Riders GQ dropping in for you. Thanks for being here on your local Swall Tracker. I'm going to hindcast show you the culprit. This is the star of the show, the main producer of the Swell we just saw. What is it? It's not the low pressure. It's the high pressure. Very rare. A 1048 millibar high pressure. Squeezing the pressure gradient between the high and the low to the east and leading to some near hurricane force winds, a long, long fetch that nosed to within the head of the fetch right here, nosed to within 500 miles of us. It created very, very large seas. They didn't have much time to decay. And voila, brada bing, we had 12 to 20 foot waves. Could be the claim today. 35 foot faces for sure on way on the outer reefs. And also, thanks to that pressure gradient and the track, we had a captured fetch. So it moved in the same direction as the low and allowing the, the duration of the fetch and the strength of it to be enhanced and to get closer to us. So there you go. There's the guy. And check that out. A secondary pulse from that low as it builds in the high weekends for Friday. I'm claiming up to 10 to 15 feet with warning levels possible for Friday again from a, a north angle. There's the culprit there. And then uh, that guy peters out. But let's, let's run through this. There's high on, by the way, the devastated regions in the middle of the Philippines. We won't go into that since it's going to gather news over the Internet. But there she is there last November 6th and 7th. And then here we go. The high pressure built. And then the fetch came right about here. One pulse for 20 feet. Second pulse for 15 on Friday. Now we'll get to Thursday's model output. Here's the high pressure here weakening. Here's the new pulse of, of low pressure here. We'll watch the track as she heads the opposite way of, that our usual northwesters go from off of Japan and heading east. This one was actually heading west and dissipating. Now this is what it looks like for this weekend. Nothing going on. We will quiet down. And then we see right here a little northwester coming in. That'll be for... Thursday the 21st. You can see another captured fetch moves right towards us. It's not near as strong as the last two, but we will see some open ocean swell of eight feet, the periods being 14 seconds. That'll be enough for six to eight, maybe 10 at Sunset Beach. Holly Eva for the Reef Hawaiian Pro should get up to eight feet on Thursday the 21st. So we will have waves from a more northwesterly angle, which is good news. So there's one last loop of Friday's big one. We go quiet until the next round of northwest swell, north-northwest swell here on Thursday the 21st of about 6 to 8 plus. Okay, let's go down under for a spell. High pressure off, off to the east of New Zealand, shutting down our normal swell production area. But that high pressure with a low here under Tahiti created that same phenomena, squeezing the pressure gradient between the high and the low. And this is another rare phenomena, but showing you that it does happen in the south pack as well, sending up a decent fetch. We had waves filling in on, on Tuesday. It held on Wednesday. One to two weak occasional threes from this source right here. She fades out to the southeast. We go zonal, and the whole south pack shuts down. Let's take a look at the current models. You see no nice red blobs, lots of blues, and it's typical because we're in, heading into their austral summer. There come some storms way along the Aras Ice Shelf, very zonal, and no swell in sight for town. Okay, let's take a look at Storm Surf's jet stream flow. Here's the scenario set up right here, which is really strange looking. The blue area showing the high pressure, bouncing the jet stream up and over above the illusions. Lots of troughing and unstable weather, especially tonight through Friday, moving up from the Big Island. We'll keep you posted on that. We'll show you what happens. She spins out. We get that reinforcement for Friday. The jet tries to drop here over the weekend. A little bit of troughing over us. And then especially in the long haul, we see some more dips and a storm will make its way down within this troughing. But all in all, we're still waiting for the jet to do its normal activity. Down under, it is doing fairly normal activity. Is nothing going on. Very weak. Staying weak. And if it strengthens, it's very zonal. Not good. 
for Southwell. Let's take a look at our surface charts. That's that big, strong high moving off to the northeast. There's that low pressure here. This is what it looks like for this big swell. It's associated trailing. It's associated trough south of the Big Island is being pulled up by the low and bring in some heavy potential rain for the Big Island, then Maui, and then maybe us over the next couple days. We've already seen thunderstorms for the Big Island. So again, these are the two culprits, the big high and the low, bringing us in those big waves. We will see the low pressure stick around and, and deepen, leading to that reinforcement on Friday. Now let's jump to the upper regions, showing the water vapor loops. So we went from the surface, it was very easy to see, and the upper regions as well. This guy was stacked. Look at that. This is showing the low, pulling up the weather from the south, high pressure way off to the northwest, a little bit more instability in the air, a few more showers than normal, especially for Maui. Big Island. Highs are going to be about 80 to 85. Lows about 70. Cooler in the upper elevations. You can see the upward flow of the higher winds. And we have a slight easterly flow to the lower surface wind. Normal trades aren't coming back until next week sometime. Right now we are looking at light and variable wind patterns through the weekend. And there you go. You can see that storm I was talking about and the rain coming to hit the Big Island. It's moving up towards Maui. There's the rain especially coming up from the south. And hopefully Kauai and Oahu will be spared the, the heaviest rain. We'll wait and see. We'll be back next week with your local swell tracker. Check up on that Thursday swell. In the meantime, high surf warnings through Thursday and another near warning level potentially on Friday and then dissipating through the weekend. Aloha.